Hey everybody, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're doing a Thanksgiving craft slash fall inspired video. We This is one of two videos that I'll be doing for this Thanksgiving season, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into the Christmas crafts. But of course, I don't want to skip over Thanksgiving. That's just as important as well, right? Anyways, I hope that you enjoy this video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And for those who are part of my channel, or a new subscriber, be sure to turn on that notification button so that way you'll be notified when I post a video. All right, well, thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and start crafting. The first one is this really pretty pumpkin. I got it from Hobby Lobby. In fact, everything in this video, mm, yeah, everything in this video came from Hobby Lobby. This is a fall tableware and it is food safe and it's hand wash only so it would be kind of cute to do like a charcuterie board if i said that right but i'm actually just going to use this as regular decor because i'm going to put something on there that will not make this food safe and i actually have a little stand that will prop it up like this and be part of my decor so i have the this laser cut out the word gather and i think i got this from Joanne Fabrics a long time ago, maybe a year or so ago, and I never crafted with it. In fact, I have a lot of words that are kind of scripted like this, um, like other different words. And so anyways, I ordered them off of their uh, website because they didn't have them in, in the uh, store, the one that near our house is just terrible. Um, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add some uh, Beacon Fabric Tack glue. Now you most certainly can do hot glue. That will work as well, but I'm just not that fast of a person to be using hot glue. This you have a lot more wiggle room. It's more forgiving than I would say um, than hot glue is in my opinion. So if I can, I would rather use this then hot glue okay so the one thing i don't like about this is it's, it's very stringy just like hot glue is so i don't like that but other than that it's a really good um, glue to be using and it works on a lot of materials got that all glued down then I'm going to turn this around. See, a lot of strings are in. I'll get that one once I got this in position. All right, I don't want to push it too much um, because I don't, this doesn't dry exactly clear, or matte, I should say. I'm just, is that straight? Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, so I don't want to play around with it too much because I don't want to, you know, mess it up or anything like that. I think this is a great start to the video. Let's go ahead and bring in the next craft. I have th three leaves and so this is actually something in that was already done from Hobby Lobby in their Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna cut this so I don't waste it. Um, This was already something that oh shoot I just cut it. Oh crud. We'll see. Hopefully it didn't ruin it. But anyways, uh, this was already pre-done. And you guys know me. I redo the Hobby Lobby stuff to make it my own. However, and I only do that to clearance stuff only. But I actually bought this. It's, it's fall 2024. So <laughs> I broke my own rules. Because I never do that with anything that's not clearance. Not with my heat press. Because we're doing iron-on. And the reason why we're doing iron-on is because I wanted this foil um, particular color and I didn't have that in an adhesive um, foil and also with this intricate cut um, or design of the font it would just it just makes more sense for um, to use iron-on just because of how intricate it is and oh my gosh let me tell you and I don't think the little dots are gonna be in there so I'm okay with it I'm not worried about it I pick and choose my battles but um, anyways, what I'm trying to say is this would be a nightmare trying to do regular adhesive vinyl. Let me tell you, a nightmare. I would have chosen a different font if I was going to do regular adhesive vinyl. There'd be no way at all. 
bring it in my trash can so I'll keep on reaching it for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those middles. Oh shoot. Weeded out. So it just says, it's, it says blessings to you. So I'm going to get this cut out. And if I'm being honest, I was on Pinterest. I'm like, what are some Thanksgiving words other than your simple blessed, grateful, thankful? If I already used some of that in some of the crafts. And I'm going to use it here. So there we go. And then these just kind of sit up like this. Now, the originals were really cute, but just, I don't know, just wasn't the vibe I was going for. So that is why I decided to have my husband sand it for me, painted it, and went with white. And I'm just trying to get this centered, and I'm, I'm going to sit it up. I have to sit up because I'm wanting to see uh, how this is going to work. And I, and I don't have that, that dot to the eye because... You know, it was way too small, and I'm not going to stress over it. I'm going to bring in some parchment paper to protect the paint. And I'm going to speed this up because it's the same thing. It's rinse and repeat, right? So, you don't need to see this three times, right? I think that I have that. Now that I have that ironed on, I'm going to go ahead and start with this one because this one's cooled down. I'm going to carefully remove it. Oh, that came out so good. Just so delicate and so pretty. I love it. Okay, that one's good. Wonderful. Perfect. I did that upside down. My bad. Blessings to you. Love it. And then they're just going to sit like this. I don't know. They're, they're going to find a way. Not that you guys will see what I'm doing right here, but oops, here we go. Blessings to you. Really pretty project. I love it. Sorry that it's hard to see, but it's there. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next project. I broke my rule again. I normally don't buy anything from Hobby Lobby or any other store and redo it unless it's clearanced out 75, 90% off. But I really wanted this pumpkin. It's from their fall, Hobby Lobby's fall decor this year. And it's cute, but it just wasn't the vibe I was going for. So I just went ahead and sanded it off and then um, painted it white. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just put my first letter of my last name on here. I just thought that would be kind of cute. Got my little tabletop trash can off to the side of the camera here. I have begun to really appreciate that tabletop trash can. It's nice. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy. One of the easier projects I'm holding up just so I can see it a little bit better. Pulling it down because I don't want to break try to realign that and bring out some transfer tape or not transfer tape excuse me parchment paper just to protect my paint really didn't need that big of a piece but nonetheless there it is okay i'm gonna apply some heat i'm using my mini press awesome movement it doesn't take a lot i'm using medium heat you want to be careful not to sorry i'm off the side here you want to be careful not to overheat it because it will leave this adhesive um I don't know, just, it's just weird. It doesn't, it will just like leave an outline of it. It's weird. It's like, I can't explain it. So you just kind of want to, you know, just monitor it, see what works for yours. I'm just going to apply just a little bit more heat. You know, it might be if you're new to adding iron on to your uh, wood blanks, then you might want to start with low. Test it out, see how it works. I think that's good enough. It will start to leave this um, sticky outline, I guess is what I'm trying to say. In fact, it's kind of doing that right now. And you also want to be careful. You don't want to lift the foil too quickly um, while it's cooling down because it will start to uh, crinkle, or not crinkle, but wrinkle and not look as smooth. It will give it like more of a texture look, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing at all, okay? So I'm gonna turn this around and let it cool down. Alrighty. 
and it's cooled down significantly. So I'm gonna get this peeled up. I'm gonna be really careful not to scratch my surface here, which this is, it is not behaved well. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna test an area to ensure that, okay, it's good. Yeah, you just wanna make sure when you start to peel it up, go really slowly and just test an area because if it starts to lift, put it, put it down really quickly and apply more heat to it. That way you can get that smooth look. And there we go. I love it. I mean, it's nice and simple. And yes, that thin part there is part of the font. So that's not a defect in, in same here. Um, that's part of the font. And I'll list the font down below in the description box. Um, I think we have two more projects and then we're done for this video. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I found these um, Thanksgiving fall bulbs in Hobby Lobby, of course, the ornaments. And I love the colors. I've never seen anything like that. I don't even have a tree for Thanksgiving or for fall in general. And my idea isn't to hang them. It's actually to put them in a um, bowl, a dish. So um, although I might look, go back to Hobby Lobby, see if they have like a tabletop uh, tree and just hang it on that. That would be really pretty. I actually, you know what? I have a really big lantern and it would be really pretty to put the tree in there with the Christmas bulbs. Although these might be too too big for it. Eh, we'll see. All right. Just thinking out loud here. So I'm a little nervous because I'm doing iron on and I did a project earlier. It's different, of course, from this. Yeah, not in this video. I made it for another video and I, you'll see it. Yeah, you'll see it next week. And I did these videos out of order. So the video that is getting posted uh, today, I actually did last. And just because this one I knew would be a little bit more time consuming, especially the last craft, it's gonna be a little bit, I'm a little nervous about that one. And I always get nervous when I ink blend. I'm not making a card, so no worries there. But, um, so I, I always do those type of videos that I know that are involved a little bit more. I'll do them last, although, the video next week was a little bit more involved than I anticipated. But anyways, so I was ironing on to something very similar to this. Again, it's not a Christmas bulb. You'll see it next week. I don't want to ruin the surprise. And it ended up being a major fail. And I was really disappointed. And so it makes me a little nervous to see. I really hope. Am I missing? Oh. Oh, I am missing the dot. Oh, well, that's all right. Um, I'm really hoping this will work. I've learned a few things in that video. I'm going to bring in my tabletop core. I'm sorry, or my tabletop core. My tabletop trash can here. Sorry, that's not the most aesthetic thing to look at. But it's just to avoid cleaning up afterwards. It's just going to be easier. But anyway, yeah, so I'm a little nervous with this project. And just because it didn't work out so much. I, and I learned, like I said, I learned my lesson and I'm gonna approach it differently with this. And hopefully it will work out because I just thought these were so cute. So what I did is I went into Pinterest and just typed in Thanksgiving decor. I was trying to come up with some words for Thanksgiving and of course your typical blessed, thankful, grateful. I try to avoid using those words, but I ended up using them anyway. Uh, but I did find family, gather, um, autumn, blessed, thankful, and grateful. So I feel like those three words are like been there, done that, right? And I was trying to, again, I was trying to uh, avoid doing that, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes that's just the words to describe the holiday. So Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Uh, well, not Christmas is, now that I have a daughter because I just love the whole 
just the magic through I love seeing things through her eyes and I love how excited she gets and just it's such a magical time for kids and but Thanksgiving has always been my favorite first of all it's my favorite meal that my family makes and uh, I love turkey I'm a poultry eater through and through and my family my mom and my grandmother um, are fantastic cooks and that's one thing I miss because I don't ever come home for Thanksgiving just because a month later we'll be up for Christmas and with my teaching um, we're not allowed to take off certain times of the year because we're obviously going to use smaller scissors here you know we're obviously at the, we're in the middle of the semester and can't just call off to take vacation so unfortunately we're kind of a slave to that schedule but um I always what I loved about Thanksgiving is there's no expectation of opening up gifts right and it just becomes more so just about not that it was ever not like this for Christmas but it's just more so the gathering and getting together with the family and but more so it's the traditions that I really enjoyed that came before and during and after Thanksgiving I am going to put like this. I don't know if this is going to work. Truly don't. Here we go. This is really hard because it's a curved surface. So if you're a newbie, I don't know if this would be the best project for you. Just, oh, geez. No, this is not going to work. Uh. It's plastic underneath there. Uh, I'm gonna kick that down a, a heat. Um, it's melting the plastic. Okay. So it's not glass. I'm gonna try it anyways. I'm not gonna put hardly any pressure on it. No wonder they said it's shatterproof. <laughs> Dang. Such a cute idea. I'm doing really const fast, constant movement because I don't want that plastic to melt. Okay. Before I ruin any other um, Thanksgiving bulbs, I am going to just test this one out, let it cool, and then we'll peel up. And if it doesn't work, we're gonna have to put a kibosh to the whole idea. And I kind of wonder if regular adhesive vinyl works with that. Okay, I don't think that's it's gonna work. Darn it. I I'm testing something. Now that I really messed that one up. I have foil adhesive. Okay, so foil adhesive works. I mean it's not gonna stick on there forever, you know, so it's not something that you wanna but it's this is not gonna work. <laughs> this is not it's not gonna work. Okay, well that one said family, and I'm gonna recut it, and then when I lay it in my little dish, my bowl, I'll just put that one, <laughs> I'll put that one down. All right, so this is, um, I'm gonna have to find something else. I'm not gonna throw these away because I can use those for something else. What, I have no idea, but we will figure that one out, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut those all out and we'll come back. Okay, I realized I did not, um, I did not record the first one, and I'm gonna show you guys as I'm talking here. Let me bring that into the camera. You can see here, sorry that you guys see the sun coming in. I probably should close my blinds. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. So here it is. Um, I use regular, and this is actually done for, so I need a new piece. I did regular adhesive foil and does it work? No, it doesn't. Um, one little scratch and it's it's done for. But because I put all this time and effort into this uh, design, this idea, I'm finishing it. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you kind of what I did with this one. Cause again, I turned off the record um, 
so that way I can get everything, I turned my camera off, I should say, and so I can get everything cut out. And, gosh, why are you being difficult? Is it today's MO here? Um, but anyways, so, what was I saying? I don't know where I was, where I was going, oh my gosh. I'm losing it, I'm losing it. It's a shame. I'm sorry that you missed all that. I definitely forgot to hit record for the weeding process and all of that stuff. Oh, so I turned off the camera. I know what I was saying. Turned off the camera and didn't realize to, I forgot to, to cut everything out and then I forgot to hit the record button. So uh, yeah, you missed all that. And that's a shame because I was telling a nice, really funny story and uh, that's all right. We gotta, we gotta move forward. All right, so I'm just kind of applying it like this, and I'm gonna use my finger. You gotta be careful not to, you know, of course, create any bubbles. You can add relief cuts. I'm not because I want to. I just, I don't know. Does it to me? It's, it's gonna be fine. And um, gotta really burnish it down. And you wanna be careful with the pressure because this is a plastic ball, and it's just, it's not going to, you know, you're gonna, if you put too much pressure, you're gonna make these indentations. It reminds me of those ball pits. Yeah, that's what's that's what this is. Okay, so let me. So what I'm doing is I'm just. Well, this is adhering a lot better. Well, the other one did not. I just had to use my thumb to hold it down as I'm peeling the transfer tape back. Oh, bless you. Oh my goodness. I hope the rest is going to be like this. Okay. Oh oh oh. Almost there. Oops. Come back. Come back. All right. So this is not going to stand the test of time, but you know, it's you can. I don't know. You can try the adhesive vinyl. You can try the foil iron on, and which we'll see which one you like. But I think this is going to be the better of the, especially since this is plastic. If this was um, glass, I think I'd try that that iron on again but all right let me go ahead and get the other four done and then we'll see them together there we go got all of them done i am so excited and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get them all oriented but i will show you so this is the messed up one so that's okay i'll just have this one go like this so we have family we have blessed we have grateful i just love the gold foil with the orange, the burnt orange, and the cream. I think it's just really pretty. And then we have Autumn, right? And then we have Thankful, the one that we just did. And then we also, come on, we have Gather. I'll list the font information in the description box below. Okay, well, I think that is the last, uh, uh, no, we, we have one more to do, and then that is, it for this video so let me go ahead and grab that and we'll be done I forgot to hit record again oh my goodness um I apologize I <laughs> I don't know what happened but anyway what I did is I and it's not like you missed a lot but I embossed this in fact I don't even know if this got recorded. So I want to explain the process anyways. I embossed my little design. I used my Misty tool to impression and then I added the embossing powder and heated this up and that's literally all you guys missed. And what we're going to do is we're going to ink blend next. So the idea and I also mentioned when I was not recording that I thought I was recording that um, I uh, it's not perfect and I could have put it back in my Misty and fixed it but because this is not perfect you know I was okay with that I liked that now when I make the card uh, for Thursday it will be perfect or I will try again to make it perfect because I don't want it to be rustic 
on the card and um, I used my Versamark for that so if you want to know how I did this watch the video that's coming out Thursday because obviously I was showing it but I didn't hit the record button um, so that's that's my bad um, so anyways we're going to ink blend it so the idea is just to have have this die cut out once we're done with everything and then I have a sentiment that's going to go on here okay so the card itself is going to be a little different than the frame so I want to show you that you can use your stamps if you're into card making for decor uh, the colors that we will be using are poppy from cut I'm sorry buttercup from concord and ninth distress oxide spice marmalade and then poppy um, from concord and ninth and the reason why I am using something that's not Concord and Ninth is because I didn't have an orange, they didn't have an orange that I really liked. Okay, so that is why I opted for uh, my Distress Oxide. And so here it is. You can kind of tell, I don't know, hopefully you're able to tell um, that it is nice and uh, shiny, I guess. All right, um, so let's go ahead and ink blend. And we're going to be using this color palette and then we will get it cut out and apply. Um, I have either iron-on or adhesive. I did both because I wasn't sure how I wanted this to play out. Okay, let's go ahead and start ink blending. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I have this gel press that I had for years and it just helps hold the stencil and also the card stock. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this lined up. I'm gonna start with Buttercup. I'm going to go ahead and get some on my um, brush. Okay. And I'm going to start at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to tap some of that off just to get it into the bristles. I might add a little bit more, tap some of that off. And then I'm going to just come in really lightly. Right. All right. Let me get the next color ready. The next color is going to be Spice Marmalade. Again, just going to take some of this off on my paper towel. And then I'm gonna get that on there. I think this one does come in a little bit hot, but I'm gonna tap some of that and come in over here like so. Good. Wonderful. That looks good. Okay. And then I'm going to come in, bring this one over, and then the poppy. And just taking off whatever's on there, getting that on there. Now, this one is very, definitely comes in pretty strong. So, Tap some of that off because we definitely don't need it that strong. And here we go. I think that's enough. That's plenty enough. Okay. Um, so then we'll add the other stencil. So let me get that peeled off. Take a look at it. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, let me get this cleaned off and then we'll start the other stencil. Okay, let's lift that up to take a look. And that looks so good. Okay, let me get cleaned up and then I think I'm gonna have to fussy cut this because I don't think I actually have the dies for this. So um, I'm gonna get that done and then we'll assemble. Not exactly sure why that I had the coordinating die with this. I think when I bought it, I had the intention not to cut it out as a die. So what I did is I used a rectangular stitched um, die and just framed it out as best as I could. And luckily I had enough, just enough room. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out, I think this is, this is called, oh crud, I think it's called, uh, I don't think it's nutmeg wheat it's called wheat and that's gonna be my background so we have this nice little border and let me bring in this is Concord and ninth and let's see here we'll do it's four by six so I'll do four inches 
like so. Actually, I'm gonna go just slightly over four inches. I think it's four. I'll do four and an eighth. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll do six inches. We'll just go over by an eighth. Turn that over, turn this over, and what's great is you can change this out per, my goodness that's hard, you can change it out per season, yes I know this is rusty, it's a story behind it, it's my grandfather's um, tool and my dad gave it to me when I moved down here and well I, I kept it, I kept it, okay, so that out of there. Let's put that out there. Let's put that under here. Perfect. Oh, you guys. Hello. I need to put my design. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put a little piece of double sided tape. Okay. Got a little ahead of myself. So I need to get this centered. Um, within this so I'm going to use just a small because once I'm done with this I'm going to try to since Concord and Ninth cardstock I don't know about you guys but they're constantly out of stock for one and for two they're expensive so I'm going to see if I can once the holiday season once uh, Thanksgiving season is over with I will take this out and try to reuse it. So I'm just gonna put a small little uh, double-sided tape and then I'm gonna go ahead and get this centered. That looks good. Okay, let's put that in our little frame. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We're not done. This in itself is really pretty and I might just leave it, but I also went ahead and added this. Um, I just put give thanks. And again, I'm not sure it's really thin. I had the intention of this may not this may just be it because the, I chose this font because I was using iron on. And yeah, I'm just I'm gonna leave that as is. I'm not even gonna worry about this, actually. Um you know, I also have If I can just put that there, or do we want? Let's see. We got blessed. We got. I just don't want to ruin this. I'm a little nervous to do this actually. Gather. I don't know. Should I or should I not? Okay, I think that's what we'll do. And in fact, I'm going to iron onto glass. I've never done it before. I just Googled it. And it says you can. So we're going to we're gonna give this a try. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. Glad I kept these. I almost decided not to keep them. And glad I did. Let me go get my iron on, or my mini um, Easy Press, and then we'll get this ironed on. I got it into position, and... I'm going to protect my glass. I'm using the low setting and it's still preheating and that's okay. Um, I don't think I want it to go up all the way. I had no idea that you can iron onto glass. Never knew. I don't think I would do this with something super expensive if you're asking me. If this actually works, I'm going to be stoked. That way I don't have to recut anything. Okay. I'm going to let that cool down 
and then we're gonna peel and reveal. This is turning out way better than I anticipated. I am really excited, you guys have no idea. So let's try this again. Hopefully I applied enough heat, or let it cool down. Oh, nope, still, still not working. Okay, let's try this again. I was just reading while this is cooling down that it can be a hassle to iron on glass. You want to apply enough pressure, but not enough pressure where to the point where you'll break the glass, right? Um, just enough for it to iron down. And if this does not work, then I think what I may end up doing is kicking up the heat a little bit but I also think I need to let this cool down and the reason why I didn't iron on two reasons why I did not iron on to the paper uh, reason one is I'm not sure how that would work with the heat emboss I don't know if that would reactivate the um, embossing and it further melt it and then it will um, smear and then also another reason why I wanted it to be on a glass is to provide dimension so this will actually caught um, I don't know if you can tell my lights kind of doing right now but it creates this shadow and it gives a little bit more dimension since this is so flat and um, yeah I know that it may not you guys may not be able to see but the embossing really is um, really coming through the glass which was one thing I was kind of nervous about and so get out those stamps that you have if you're a card maker and you know if you don't have a Cricut but you have a bunch of stamps you can use your stamps to create I don't know why you can here let me shine it in your eyes um, <laughs> um, but use your Cricut to um, or I'm sorry use your stamps to create decor I mean that's exactly what I did now I know I did cheat. I did end up using my Cricut. However, I don't have a lot of fall stamps and dies. Fact, um, I may end up using my Cricut for the card on Thursday. I do have a stamp in mind, and it actually I think it's a die um, that I will be using. So, you know, we will see. I just want to make sure this is really cool. So I'm going to give it a second and then we'll try again. I have this portable fan that I just put on the glass to help speed this up. So it's actually pretty cool. It worked. So yay. Um, let's give this a try again. Okay. So I think it just needs to be um, cooled down. I'm going to try to get this off. I do see a couple areas of lifting and I'm going to try to get this off of the carrier sheet so I can just use parchment paper, but I don't know how, if that's going to be possible. So I'm going to approach it this way. Hopefully I can get that. Okay. Should have just left it on there because it did wrinkle this up just a little bit. There we go. It's not... Here. Not bad. Okay, perfect. So now I just want to try to get that carrier sheet off because then that way I don't have to worry about trying to accidentally lift that. So when you do do that, just make sure that you put your parchment paper back on because you don't want to melt your iron on. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> this just, I'm, I think I'm going to do this again. I might have to do this for Christmas. I have so many Christmas stamps and dies. And I think this just opens up a whole new door for me. <gasps> Love it. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Sorry that the, the, the uh, ring light's showing. But let me see if I can get you guys to see that. Isn't that pretty? I'm trying to get this centered. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so I love it. All right, let's bring in all the crafts to see what we did as a collective and I'll let you know my favorite. This turned out to be my favorite. I don't know. The the next um, Thanksgiving video is pretty good too. So I don't know. I really do like this. Um, these definitely were a challenge. So recommendation, use your vinyl and just be prepared to really rub it on this, um, whatever material this is. And, you know, I messed up on that, but hey, at least now you don't have to mess up on. I love the colors and I think that would be so pretty. And then of course the leaves. I just like the simplicity of that. And then I know we have two pumpkins, but they both lend a different design. And I like that I have a letter D 
and it's just a little simple. I think I might can add a cute little bow or just leave it alone. So let me know in the comment section if I should add a bow um, or you know wrap it around or something. Um, if you think that this is a little bit too plain, I'm thinking it might be too plain, but you know, let me know. And then of course this one. I love that I left this the natural wood and then just glued that onto here. And again, I'm gonna put it on the stand and it's just gonna kind of be propped up that way. And then last but not least is this one. This was so much fun. So again, if you're a stamper and you want and you don't have a Cricut, get out your stamps, get out your your inks and make that decor. This ended up turning out by far more than I expected. So the question is, and yes, we learned that we can iron on to glass. Yay! So the question is, which one of the five projects that we worked on? So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, well, I really love this one, but y'all know, probably this one, right? I love how this turned out. I... <sighs> Gosh, this is such an addiction, um, stamping. I was into car making, but I didn't do stamps. I did um, paper piecing, and this is oh, this is such an addiction. <laughs> but anyways, overall, they are all such great crafts. Um, just had a lot of fun. Well, uh, be sure to watch the video on Thursday and see how I turned this um, design into a card. Again, I don't know if I'm going to just keep with the same colors. I might go a different direction or we might do the same thing, but do a different style for a card. All right. And I'll be sure to do a comparison between the card that I made and the decor, of course. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know I sure did. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.